subscribe. Hey lovelies, it's Imogen aka Miss Simo Insane and welcome to my video. So today I thought I would look at my bullet journal pencil case thing. Okay, first of all, um, I'm not being sponsored or anything to do this, I just happen to have this, unlike it, and it's not, and I'm not using it for its intended purpose. So basically, it is a tablet bag that you use to put, like, your wires in, so, like, memory cards, um, power cables, USB leads, camera, batteries, anything kind of like that. It's made as a technology bag. I can't remember off the top of my head what the actual name of this particular one is, so I will put it on screen for you. Um, I like this one. The one I did want to, to be honest, I did want to get a black one, but the black ones were lime green inside, and I didn't want that. And the only other one I could find was like a blackish grayish one that was bright orange inside. So I paid about a pound more maybe, and I got this one. And I actually spent, I think it was eight pounds. Um, it was second hand, even though it came in brand new packaging with tags and everything. So I got a really great deal on this and it was eight pounds, including shipping. So basically it is a double pocketed thing as of which told you it's sort of a, a laptop, uh, well, a very small laptop, but a tablet bag. Um, it has branding. And it is the Be Unique, Be Myself brand. It does have a few too many branding on the zips. I don't feel like it needed four zips. Um, but hey ho. And then it also has the, I don't know if it's going to focus, but the branding underneath which is you can go to their website and learn more about this I guess so it has a wrist strap which is detachable which is pretty cool but I've left it on because I found it quite useful and we will get into the first pocket so the first pocket so this first side has all my zebra mild liners and I literally have all four packs of five I did swatch them and colour code them so I knew which packet that they come from. So this one's blue, this one's the blue, 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 blue for example. Um, and then there's the pink set and the peach set and the yellow set. So they fit perfectly in here. To be honest we could maybe struggle to get one extra in each of these and this middle bit is sewn down, it is two netted pockets which is perfect and then when I just want to grab one I can just take it off of here and use the bullet end or the chisel tip end and then once I'm done with it I can literally just put it back on here and it's done and I love that this is my favorite part about this and when I purchased it I literally was looking to buy something that these would fit in because I was struggling to keep looking through my pencil case especially since they're only coloured on this end and not on this end so if I put them in upside down and I was like struggling to find them and then I didn't want to keep them in the actual boxes because that was a lot to look around so I literally bought this based on the fact that these would be able to go on here so then this side which is the part where you would put your um, tablet literally if it fits my whoop, is it pronounced loistrum loitrum that's how I'm gonna murder it this week um, so it literally fits my loitrum bullet journal and I just have a, a pilot g207 which is my favorite pen and apparently I have like some white dot thing there so it fits this perfectly to be honest I could probably fit a notepad in here as well I might be able to fit a, a bit more because it is quite a quite a pocket so that's what fits into this side and it has this lovely sturdy velcro and it literally just fits in there so that's the first side I'm going to zip this back up and then show you the second side the second side is a little bit more crazier and stuffed so the second side 
has all these little elastics and um, stretchy net pouches. And the idea is that you can put all your wires in them or your little memory cards in here or you put batteries in here. Um, I believe this would fit. Uh, somebody said a 2.5 SATA hard drive would fit in here. I was looking at some reviews. Um, so you can fit like a couple of different things in here. Uh, I think you'd be a bit pushed to have a battery, like a laptop battery charger in here. Probably, but anyway, this is what I'm using mine for. I literally, in this pocket, have um, a couple of different washi tapes and sticky tapes. So I have this larger black one, this smaller thin black and smaller thin white, and the small thin black and white striped, and then also this silver. And I got them all on AliExpress. And I also have a Pinterest board, which is full of like washi and other things that I've purchased for my planners. And I will link that below. So it's got this lovely zip pocket. Again, we have some branding on the zip pocket. And we then I put in, um, this is like a dotted ad temporary sort of adhesive. Or it's not temporary, but it's, I know what I'm talking about. Like it can be. And then this is a double sided sticky tape. Then I have my entire Tombow collection thus far, which I purchased a whole bunch of cool greys and then there's like the black lump black, a warm grey and a blender pen. And they just fit in here. Like it is a bit of a struggle, but I have four in here, four in here and then three in here. I don't think this top one would be able to take an additional pen, but this is my entire collection and they fit. <laughs> then on this side I have this pen which is such a well kept secret. Um, it is the Pentel Twin Tip and I've spoken about this before in previous videos but on this end it has this really thick bullet and on the other end it has this fine sort of pen tip I don't know if we're going to focus. There you go. So it has this fine pen tip. And what this actually pen's actually designed for is to write on wood, glass, uh, fabric, plastic. It is an all-rounder pen. In fact, I believe it even says some of that information. There you go. So it's suitable for CDs, glass, wood, metal, vinyl, a whole bunch of things. But... I wouldn't advise you write directly onto your bullet journal pages. It will probably bleed straight through and I'm not even tried it to test it. But what I would recommend this for is for writing on any kind of washi tape and or stickers, especially the kind that are like that glossy or vinyl that like regular pens quite hard to write on, especially gel pen. This will write on it wonderfully. On paper, like, um, like regular paper stickers, it does bleed a little bit, but I found it to be fantastic, especially on washi tape and stuff. So that's a really cool idea. So I just have that in there. And then I have this jelly roll and it's the Stardust. Um, and it's the Stardust Clear. So I just have that because I like sometimes to just add a bit of sparkle to things. Then we have our unicorn pen which is just the best white pen ooh, ever and it is the Signo we're probably not going to there we go the Signo Uniball and it's the one millimeter I believe it's the one millimeter does it say on it? oh yeah it does um nope you can kind of see there so I have this one in white um I have ordered a silver because I've misplaced my silver, so I plan to put my silver in here and my bullet journal is going to be very monochrome if you didn't get that already. So then I have a couple of sticky notes uh, which look like moons and I have this little guy which is great for ripping washi tape and I, again I also got this on AliExpress, they were on AliExpress as well and most of my pens come from eBay. And then behind that I have 
my awesome ruler with my name on it. And I was actually gifted this. Literally, I said to the guy, I was like, oh my goodness, I never see things that have got my name on them. And he said, like, what team are you in? And I was laughing. They laughed and said, you know, that I'm, I'm in, in Team Yellow. And, um, which was a complete accident, but now I'm kind of, like, really proud of it. But I don't really play Pokemon Go because I, I'm going to say, well, I don't really go out much. Um, but this ruler is amazing and I love how chunky it is because normally with rulers when I do this I end up putting lines in because of my nails which are atrocious but I need to cut them. Uh, so basically I end up, usually end up but this with this I can literally press down and it's such a wide ruler that I like. I have for um, a fold out 30 centimeter ruler but it arrived in pieces so he sent me a replacement and then I just have some random scissors these scissors I actually love they're actually the Charlie Dimmick gardening scissors from the pound shop but I have like three or four pairs of these because I love them and I think they are fantastic scissors so I just literally pop that down there into there I have a couple of Pilot G207s not that we need to have three of them but we do and then my Pilot Friction 0.5, which I use for drawing basically all of my lines. I have a pencil, which is a Pentel Clicker. Uh, I think it's 0.5, no, 0.7. Let's have a look. Does it say on it? No, it doesn't. It'll say on my LEDs though, but I think it is the 0.7. And basically I just hook that onto this elastic and then this is just an eraser so it's a retractable eraser which I just keep in here and then I have um, a charm that my sister wants me to fix for her because she broke it and I just stuck it in there to remind me to fix her planner charm for her so yeah so other than the silver gel pen which I haven't yet got I am very very happy with this setup um, when closing this, we have to kind of, as I said, the Tombows fit, but we have to push them down and then zip up the case, which is a downside because they just don't fit, even though um, the, basically the person who listed this wrote the, the measurements wrong because I was like, yes, they'll fit and they'll be about half an inch playroom and th there really isn't so um yeah so this is my kind of all-in-one the zips are going to annoy me with all the jingly sound but I can literally kind of hook this onto my hat onto my wrist and grab it and go and then I have everything I need for bullet journaling um and I do like daily trackers and stuff or I track what I'm doing for every hour whether I'm in bed in pain or I'm up doing something or I'm literally out of the house uh, so it's nice to have everything in one place as opposed to this pencil case for this and that pencil case for that and the book separately and it was just kind of like all over the place and then I'd find that I left a pencil case in my craft room or somewhere else that wasn't where I am and it was getting frustrating so I literally purchased this it was eight pound including shipping and I really like it. Like it will definitely do what I want, at least for now. So I hope that might have given you an idea for what you could use, and yeah.